All right, it is not your everyday help wanted ad. Do you have a vehicle that can tow a trailer and can you set up a bear trap? State Fish and Wildlife is looking for people to work as bear response contractors. West News Dave McDaniel looks at the duties and why people need to be ready when the phone rings. So it could be on at night, it could be the weekend or holiday. To deal with issues involving bears, whether they're getting into trash or creating another issue in a neighborhood, the state often needs to respond. That includes bears hit and killed by cars. We, last year we had 287 bears hit by cars. The vast majority of those are picked up by bear response contractors. So and as bear populations grow, there's a growing need for bear response contractors. They need them in several counties. Locally, that means Lake, Marion, Orange, Seminole, and Volusia counties. The, the issue is there's so much work that in some of these counties, it's not one person. We actually need multiple people. Fish and Wildlife says if you have a bear issue in your neighborhood and you call them, likely a bear response contract would be the person to show up, possibly to give you some advice, maybe even give you a hand. They may set up an electric fence or they may um, show them how to hang their bird feeder so a bear can't get into it. So those are site visits and that's very, that's the majority of what a bear response contractor does. The contractors get paid by the event, not the hour. To meet with a homeowner, canvas a neighborhood with bear information, picking up a bear hit and killed, 150 bucks. Setting up and monitoring a trap, $500 because it's a more lengthy commitment. So they'll actually drive the trap to where it needs to be. They set it, they monitor it, um, and in four nights, if we haven't caught it, they pick it back up. All to hopefully respond get, 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 and get, get, get. reduce bear-related issues. Get, 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 get. Dave McDaniel, West 2 News.